Welcome back to the Thought Room. Today, we have something special for all you couples out there. We've compiled 50 essential questions and answers to help you build a stronger and healthier marriage. Whether you're newlyweds or seasoned partners, these questions will foster deeper connections and understanding between you and your spouse. So, let's jump right in. Segment 1, Communication. First, let's talk about communication. Effective communication is key to any successful marriage. Question 1. How can we improve our communication? Improving communication in a marriage is essential for fostering understanding, resolving conflicts, and strengthening the bond between partners. Here are three key strategies to enhance communication. 1. Active listening. One of the fundamental aspects of effective communication is active listening. This means giving your partner your full attention when they're speaking. Avoid interrupting or formulating your response while they talk. Instead, focus on understanding their perspective, feelings, and concerns. Ask clarifying questions to ensure you grasp their message accurately. By demonstrating that you value and respect your partner's voice, you create a safe space for open and honest communication. 2. Open and honest expression. Encourage open and honest communication by creating an environment where both partners feel comfortable sharing their thoughts and emotions without fear of judgment or reprisal. Express your own feelings and needs clearly and directly but in a non-confrontational manner. Use I statements to avoid blame and communicate your emotions and experiences. For example, say, I feel hurt when this and this. Instead of, you always make me feel this and this. Honesty builds trust and helps resolve issues before they escalate. 3. Conflict Resolution Skills Conflicts are a natural part of any relationship, but how you handle them can make all the difference. Approach conflicts with the intention of finding a solution that works for both of you. Practice active problem-solving, compromise, and empathy. Avoid personal attacks or criticism and focus on the issue at hand. Remember that conflicts can be opportunities for growth and understanding. By learning to resolve conflicts constructively, you can strengthen your connection and ensure that communication remains healthy and productive in your marriage. Question 2. What's the best way to handle conflicts? Handling conflicts effectively is essential for maintaining a healthy and thriving marriage. The best way to handle conflicts is through open and respectful communication, empathy, and a focus on finding mutually beneficial solutions. Firstly, open and respectful communication is key. When conflicts arise, it's crucial to create a safe space where both partners can express their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment or criticism. Active listening is a vital component of this process, where each partner genuinely hears and understands the other's perspective. Avoiding blame and accusatory language can prevent conflicts from escalating further. Secondly, empathy plays a significant role in conflict resolution. Try to see the situation from your partner's point of view, acknowledging their emotions and concerns. Empathizing with their feelings can diffuse tension and foster a sense of validation, which is often the first step toward finding common ground. Lastly, focus on finding mutually beneficial solutions. Conflicts are not about one person winning and the other losing, they are opportunities to grow and strengthen the relationship. Work together as a team to brainstorm solutions, compromises, or alternatives that address both partners' needs and concerns. This collaborative approach not only resolves the immediate issue but also builds trust and problem-solving skills that can benefit the relationship in the long run. Question 3. How can we actively listen to each other? Actively listening to each other is a fundamental skill for effective communication and a stronger marriage. It involves more than just hearing words, it requires genuine engagement and understanding of your partner's thoughts and feelings. Firstly, to actively listen, make a conscious effort to give your full attention to your partner. This means putting aside distractions, such as smartphones or other activities, and focusing solely on the conversation. Maintain eye contact and use body language that conveys your interest and receptiveness. By showing that you prioritize what your partner is saying, you create a safe space for them to express themselves openly. Secondly, ask clarifying questions and provide feedback. Encourage your partner to elaborate on their thoughts and feelings by asking questions like, can you tell me more about that or how did that make you feel? 
Reflect back what you've heard to ensure you understand correctly. This not only shows that you're listening, but also demonstrates empathy and a genuine desire to comprehend your partner's perspective. Lastly, resist the urge to interrupt or immediately offer solutions. Sometimes, your partner may simply need to vent or share their thoughts without seeking immediate advice. Allow them the space to express themselves fully before discussing potential solutions or responses. This practice of active listening fosters deeper connections and opens the door to more meaningful conversations in your marriage. Question 4. What are some tips for healthy communication during tough times? Maintaining healthy communication during tough times in your marriage is crucial for navigating challenges and coming out stronger together. Here are some essential tips to foster effective communication during difficult periods. Firstly, prioritize empathy and understanding. In tough times, emotions can run high, and both partners may be under stress. Approach conversations with empathy, seeking to understand your partner's feelings and perspective. Avoid placing blame and instead focus on validating their emotions. This creates a safe and supportive environment where both of you can openly express your concerns and fears without judgment. Secondly, practice patience and active listening. It's important to give each other the space to express thoughts and feelings fully. Encourage your partner to share by using open-ended questions and reflective listening. By actively listening, you not only gain a deeper understanding of their concerns but also show that you value their input. Be patient with each other, as it may take time to process emotions and find solutions to the challenges you're facing. Lastly, use I statements and express your needs and boundaries clearly. During tough times, it's essential to communicate your feelings and needs without resorting to accusations or criticism. Use I statements to express your own emotions and experiences, such as saying, I feel overwhelmed when this and this, or I need support with this and this. Clearly defining your boundaries and discussing them with your partner helps both of you understand each other's limits and work together to respect them. Segment two, emotional connection. Building a strong emotional connection is vital for a lasting marriage. Question five, how do we keep the romance alive? Keeping the romance alive in your marriage is essential for maintaining a deep and lasting connection. Here are three key strategies to help you infuse romance into your relationship. One, prioritize quality time together. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to let quality time with your spouse slip away. To keep the romance alive, make a deliberate effort to spend quality time together. Set aside date nights, even if they're at home, where you can focus solely on each other. Plan activities you both enjoy, whether it's cooking a special meal, watching a favorite movie, or taking a leisurely walk regularly scheduling these moments of togetherness rekindles the emotional connection that fuels romance. 2. Express affection. Small gestures of affection can go a long way in keeping the romance alive. Express your love through hugs, kisses, cuddles, and words of affirmation. Surprise your partner with unexpected acts of kindness, such as leaving love notes, preparing their favorite breakfast, or sending a thoughtful text during the day. These gestures not only show your love, but also remind your partner of your affection and appreciation, keeping the romantic flame burning. Three, keep the element of surprise. Routine can sometimes dampen romance, so inject an element of surprise into your relationship. Plan surprises for your partner, whether it's a spontaneous weekend getaway, a surprise dinner reservation, or a special gift for no particular reason. Surprises keep the relationship exciting and show that you're putting effort into nurturing the romantic aspect of your partnership. Encourage your partner to reciprocate, creating a cycle of delightful surprises that keep both of you feeling cherished and loved. Question 6. How to working on understanding and catering to each other's love languages? Working on understanding and catering to each other's love languages is a powerful way to strengthen a married relationship. Here's a three-step approach to incorporating love languages into your marriage. 1. Identify your love languages. Start by taking the time to identify both your own and your partner's primary love languages. There are five love languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. You can use online quizzes or self-reflection to determine your love languages. 
Once you both understand your primary and secondary love languages, you'll have a clearer roadmap for expressing love in ways that truly resonate with each other. 2. Communicate and experiment. Open and honest communication is vital in any relationship, and it's particularly crucial when it comes to love languages. Share your love languages with each other and discuss specific actions or behaviors that make you feel loved and appreciated. Be receptive to your partner's needs and desires as well. Then, experiment with incorporating these love language actions into your daily life. For example, if your partner's love language is acts of service, consider taking on a task they usually handle, like cooking dinner or doing the laundry. If it's words of affirmation, express your love and appreciation through heartfelt compliments and affirmations. 3. Consistency and Adaptation Consistency is key to making love languages work in your marriage. Make a conscious effort to regularly express love in your partner's preferred language. It's important to remember that people's love languages can evolve over time, so periodically check in with each other to ensure that you're still meeting each other's needs effectively. Additionally, be willing to adapt and be flexible as life circumstances change. What worked early in your marriage may need adjustments as you face different phases and challenges together. Question 7. How can we support each other's emotional needs? Supporting each other's emotional needs is crucial for building a strong and healthy marriage. Here are three essential ways to provide that support. 1. Active listening and validation. One of the most powerful ways to support your partner's emotional needs is by actively listening to them. When your partner expresses their thoughts, feelings, or concerns, be fully present and attentive. Avoid distractions and give them your undivided attention. As they speak, refrain from interrupting or immediately offering solutions. Instead, focus on understanding their perspective and validating their emotions. You can say things like, I hear you, or I understand how you feel. Validating their feelings shows empathy and lets your partner know that their emotions are important and acknowledged. 2. Open communication. Encourage open and honest communication in your relationship. Create an environment where both you and your partner feel safe expressing your emotions without fear of judgment or criticism. Establish regular check-ins where you can discuss how you're both feeling, both individually and as a couple. Be willing to share your own emotions and vulnerabilities as well. Through open communication, you can better understand each other's emotional needs and work together to meet them. 3. Provide emotional support. Emotional support involves being there for your partner during both good times and challenging moments. It means offering comfort, reassurance, and encouragement when they need it. Be attentive to their nonverbal cues and emotional signals, and be responsive to their needs. Sometimes, providing emotional support may involve physical gestures like hugging or holding hands. In other instances, it might mean giving them space when they need time alone to process their emotions. The key is to be attuned to your partner's needs and be a consistent source of comfort and care. Question 8. What's the importance of date nights and quality time? Date nights and quality time are vital for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling marriage. Here are three key reasons why they are so important. 1. Nurturing emotional connection. Date nights and quality time allow couples to nurture their emotional connection. In the busyness of everyday life, it's easy to become caught up in work, responsibilities, and routines, often leaving little time for meaningful interaction. Date nights provide an opportunity to step away from these distractions and focus on each other. By dedicating quality time to your spouse, you reinforce your emotional bond, deepen your understanding of each other, and create lasting memories that strengthen your relationship. This emotional connection acts as a foundation for a strong and resilient marriage. 2. Rekindling romance and passion. Marriage can sometimes lead to complacency, but date nights and quality time reignite the flame of romance and passion. These moments allow couples to break away from the monotony and rediscover the excitement of being together. Whether you're trying new activities, sharing intimate conversations, or simply enjoying each other's company, these experiences help maintain the spark in your relationship. Consistent date nights and quality time reinforce the idea that your partner is a priority in your life, fostering a sense of desire and admiration that keeps the romance alive. 3. Effective communication. 
quality time provides a platform for effective communication. It's a time to discuss dreams, aspirations, concerns, and goals. During these moments, couples can openly share their thoughts and feelings, resolve conflicts, and align their visions for the future. Quality time encourages active listening, empathy, and a deeper understanding of each other's needs and desires. This clear and honest communication strengthens the marital bond as both partners feel heard, valued, and supported in their individual journeys within the marriage. Segment 3. Trust and Transparency Trust and transparency lay the foundation for a solid marriage. Question 9. How can we build trust? Building trust in a marriage is essential for creating a strong and enduring partnership. Here are three key strategies to build trust. 1. Open and honest communication. Effective communication is the cornerstone of trust in any relationship. It's crucial to be open and honest with your partner about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. Share your concerns and vulnerabilities and encourage your partner to do the same. Be a good listener and show empathy and understanding when your partner confides in you. When both partners communicate openly and transparently, trust naturally grows as you become each other's confidants. 2. Consistency and Reliability Trust is also built through consistency and reliability. Keep your promises and commitments to your partner, no matter how small they may seem. This includes being punctual, following through on tasks and agreements, and being dependable in times of need. When you consistently show up for your partner and demonstrate reliability, they can rely on you emotionally and trust that you'll be there when they need you most. 3. Transparency and Accountability Transparency and accountability are essential for building trust. Be willing to share your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your partner. If you make a mistake or encounter a challenge, take responsibility for your actions and work together to find solutions. Transparency also means sharing your boundaries, expectations, and any concerns you may have about the relationship. When both partners are transparent and accountable, there are fewer hidden issues that can erode trust. Question 10. Should we have joint or separate finances? The decision of whether to have joint or separate finances in a marriage is a highly personal one and should be based on your individual circumstances, values, and preferences. Here are three key considerations to help you make an informed choice. 1. Communication and transparency. The most important aspect of managing finances in a marriage, regardless of whether they are joint or separate, is open and transparent communication. You should both be on the same page when it comes to your financial goals, priorities, and responsibilities. If you choose to have separate finances, it's crucial to discuss how you will split bills, handle shared expenses, and plan for the future. In a joint finance arrangement, you'll need to regularly communicate about your spending habits and financial decisions to ensure both partners feel involved and informed. 2. Financial independence versus shared responsibility. Consider your views on financial independence and shared responsibility. Separate finances can provide a sense of financial independence, allowing each partner to manage their money as they see fit. This can be particularly useful if you have different spending habits or financial goals. However, it may require more coordination and communication to ensure that shared expenses are managed effectively. On the other hand, joint finances signify shared responsibility, where both partners contribute to and benefit from a unified financial plan. This approach can simplify bill payment and long-term financial planning but may require more compromise on individual spending choices. 3. Flexibility and Trust Assess your level of trust and flexibility in your relationship. Trust is a fundamental element of financial management, regardless of the approach you choose. If you have a high degree of trust and feel comfortable with each other's financial decision-making, either joint or separate finances can work well. However, if trust is a concern or if financial conflicts are frequent, you may need to establish clear guidelines and boundaries, regardless of your chosen financial arrangement. Flexibility is also important. You should be prepared to adapt your approach as your circumstances change, such as when you have children or experience significant shifts in income. Question 11. How do we handle secrets or past mistakes? Handling secrets or past mistakes in a marriage requires sensitivity, trust, and effective communication. 
Here are three important steps to navigate this challenging situation. 1. Create a safe and non-judgmental space. It's essential to establish a safe and non-judgmental environment where both partners feel comfortable sharing their secrets or past mistakes. Ensure that your partner knows they can confide in you without fear of harsh judgment or condemnation. This may involve assuring them that you are committed to understanding their perspective and working through issues together. It's crucial to approach the conversation with empathy and a willingness to listen. 2. Practice honesty and transparency. If you are the one with a secret or past mistake, it's important to be honest and transparent with your partner. Sharing your truth can be difficult, but it's a crucial step in rebuilding trust and resolving any lingering issues. Explain your motivations, the circumstances surrounding the mistake, and the actions you have taken or will take to rectify it. Honesty is the foundation upon which trust can be rebuilt. On the other hand, if your partner is the one revealing a secret or past mistake, respond with empathy and a willingness to understand their perspective. Ask questions to gain clarity but avoid becoming accusatory or defensive. 3. Seek professional guidance if necessary. Some secrets or past mistakes may be particularly challenging to navigate on your own. In such cases, seeking the assistance of a trained therapist or counselor can be immensely beneficial. A professional can provide guidance, facilitate communication, and help both partners work through their emotions and concerns. Therapy can be a safe space to address the impact of the secret or mistake on the relationship and develop strategies for moving forward. Many couples find that therapy helps them heal, rebuild trust, and strengthen their bond. Question 12. What boundaries should we establish with others? Establishing boundaries with others is essential in a marriage to maintain a healthy and respectful relationship. Here are three key areas where setting boundaries can be beneficial. 1. Social and personal boundaries. Discuss and establish boundaries when it comes to your interactions with friends, family, and acquaintances. It's important to strike a balance between maintaining individual relationships and nurturing your marital bond. For example, you may decide to prioritize spending certain weekends or special occasions exclusively with your spouse. Communicate openly about how much time you both feel comfortable dedicating to social activities outside of the marriage. Setting these boundaries ensures that both partners feel valued and respected in terms of their social and personal lives. 2. Privacy and personal space. Privacy and personal space are vital aspects of a marriage. Establish boundaries related to personal privacy, such as respecting each other's personal emails, messages, or diaries. Discuss how you will handle shared spaces within your home to ensure that each partner has their own area where they can relax and have privacy when needed. Setting these boundaries creates an environment of trust and respect within your relationship. 3. Work-Life Balance Work-life balance is a significant consideration in modern marriages. Establish boundaries related to your work commitments, ensuring that both partners have time to focus on their careers while also prioritizing their relationship. Discuss expectations for late nights at the office, work-related travel, or taking work calls during personal time. Balancing these commitments can help prevent stress and resentment from spilling over into your marriage. Segment 4. Intimacy Intimacy is more than just physical, it's about connecting on a deeper level. Question 13. How can we maintain a satisfying sex life? Maintaining a satisfying sex life in marriage is essential for intimacy and connection. Here are three key strategies to help you achieve this. 1. Open and honest communication. Communication is the cornerstone of a satisfying sex life. Both partners should feel comfortable discussing their desires, needs, and boundaries openly and without judgment. Share your fantasies, preferences, and any concerns you may have. Regularly check in with each other about your sexual satisfaction and any changes in your desires or expectations. Creating a safe and non-judgmental space for these conversations fosters mutual understanding and ensures that both partners feel heard and valued. 2. Prioritize emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy is closely linked to sexual satisfaction. Nurture your emotional connection by spending quality time together, expressing affection, and actively listening to each other. 
Strengthen your bond through shared experiences, such as date nights or meaningful conversations, as these can deepen your connection and enhance your desire for each other. When you feel emotionally connected, it often translates into a more satisfying and fulfilling sex life. 3. Variety and Exploration Variety and exploration can keep your sex life exciting and fulfilling over time. Be open to trying new things and experimenting in the bedroom. This could include exploring new positions, introducing roleplay or fantasy scenarios, or simply changing the location of your intimate moments. The key is to communicate and ensure that both partners are comfortable with any new experiences. Remember that maintaining a satisfying sex life involves creativity and adaptability, so be willing to adapt to each other's changing desires and needs. Question 14. What are our sexual preferences and boundaries? Discussing sexual preferences and boundaries is a crucial aspect of maintaining a healthy and satisfying sexual relationship in a marriage. Here's how you can approach this important conversation. 1. Set the right time and place. Choose a time and place where both you and your partner can feel relaxed and free from distractions. This conversation should take place in a safe and comfortable environment where you can openly express yourselves without fear of judgment or interruption. Avoid having this conversation during or immediately after sexual activity, as emotions and tensions may run high. 2. Share your desires and preferences. Begin the conversation by sharing your sexual desires and preferences. Be honest and specific about what you enjoy, what arouses you, and what you'd like to explore more in your sexual relationship. Use I statements to express your feelings and desires, such as I really enjoy it when we do this, and this, or I'd like to try this, and this. Encourage your partner to do the same, allowing them to openly communicate their sexual preferences. 3. Discuss boundaries and consent. Equally important as discussing preferences is establishing boundaries and consent. Talk about the boundaries and limits that you and your partner are comfortable with in your sexual activities. Be clear about what is off limits and what actions require explicit consent. Consent is an ongoing and enthusiastic agreement between both partners, and it should always be respected. Establishing clear boundaries ensures that both partners feel safe and respected during sexual encounters. Question 15. How do we keep the spark alive in the bedroom? Keeping the spark alive in the bedroom is essential for maintaining a passionate and fulfilling sexual relationship in marriage. Here are three strategies to help you achieve this. 1. Open communication. The foundation of a satisfying and passionate sex life is open and honest communication with your partner. Regularly discuss your desires, fantasies, and any changes in your sexual preferences. Be receptive to your partner's input and make an effort to understand their needs and desires as well. By creating a safe and non-judgmental space for these conversations, you can better meet each other's expectations and keep the passion alive. 2. Variety and Exploration Routine can dampen the excitement in the bedroom, so be open to variety and exploration. Try new things together to keep the sexual experience fresh and exciting. This might include experimenting with different positions, introducing roleplay or fantasy scenarios, or even exploring sensual or erotic activities like massage. Be sure to communicate openly and ensure both partners are comfortable with any new experiences. The element of surprise and novelty can reignite the spark and create anticipation in your sexual relationship. 3. Prioritize emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy plays a significant role in maintaining passion in the bedroom. Prioritize spending quality time together outside of the bedroom to deepen your emotional connection. Engage in meaningful conversations, share your thoughts and feelings, and actively listen to each other. When you feel emotionally connected, it often translates into a more passionate and fulfilling sexual experience. Don't underestimate the power of affectionate gestures and physical touch throughout the day, as these can help maintain a sense of closeness and anticipation. Question 16. What's the role of emotional intimacy in our marriage? Emotional intimacy plays a pivotal role in the success and longevity of a marriage. It goes beyond physical attraction and daily interactions, forming the very core of a deep and meaningful connection between partners. Firstly, emotional intimacy fosters trust and vulnerability. In a marriage, trust is the foundation upon which everything else is built. 
When partners are emotionally intimate, they feel safe sharing their innermost thoughts, fears, and dreams. This vulnerability cultivates a profound sense of trust, knowing that one can be completely authentic and accepted by their spouse. This trust extends to other areas of the relationship, including communication, decision-making, and conflict resolution, leading to a stronger, more harmonious marriage. Secondly, emotional intimacy enhances communication and understanding. When couples are emotionally connected, they are better equipped to communicate openly and empathetically. They can more effectively express their needs, desires, and concerns, and they are better listeners who provide validation and support to each other. This level of communication leads to a deeper understanding of each other's perspectives, which, in turn, minimizes misunderstandings and conflicts. Couples who prioritize emotional intimacy are more likely to find common ground and collaborate effectively in making important decisions and navigating the challenges of life together. Lastly, emotional intimacy is the driving force behind passion and commitment. Couples who maintain emotional closeness tend to experience more satisfaction and passion in their physical relationship. This emotional connection creates a strong sense of commitment to each other and the relationship. It provides the motivation to weather the storms that every marriage faces, reinforcing the belief that you are a team and together, you can overcome any obstacle. Emotional intimacy reminds partners of the love and admiration they have for each other, which sustains the marriage through both the ordinary and extraordinary moments of life. Segment 5, Family and Future. Family and planning for the future are important aspects of married life. Question 17, how do we handle family dynamics? Handling family dynamics in a marriage can be complex, as it often involves balancing your commitment to your spouse with your relationships with extended family members. Here are three key strategies for navigating family dynamics effectively. 1. Open and honest communication. The cornerstone of managing family dynamics is open and honest communication between you and your spouse. Start by discussing your individual family backgrounds, traditions, and expectations. Understand each other's family dynamics, including any potential challenges or conflicts. Once you have a clear understanding of each other's perspectives, work together to establish boundaries and guidelines for how you will handle interactions with both sets of families. Regularly check in with each other to ensure that you remain on the same page and address any new challenges or concerns that may arise. 2. Establishing boundaries. Boundaries are essential in managing family dynamics. They help define what is acceptable and what crosses the line in terms of family involvement in your marriage. Discuss and agree upon boundaries with your spouse, such as how often you will visit each other's families, how you will handle holidays and special occasions, and what level of involvement extended family members will have in your decision-making process. Clear boundaries provide a sense of predictability and security in your marriage, ensuring that both partners feel respected and heard. Three, supporting each other as a team. It's crucial to present a united front when dealing with family dynamics. Support each other as a team and prioritize your marriage over external pressures or influences. If conflicts arise with extended family members, handle them as a couple rather than placing blame on one another. Discuss your concerns privately, and then present a unified response when addressing the issue with the involved family member. This demonstrates to both families that you are a united and independent couple capable of making decisions that are in the best interest of your marriage. Question 18, when and how should we start a family? Deciding when and how to start a family is a deeply personal decision that depends on various factors, including your individual circumstances, goals, and values. Here are some considerations to help guide you. 1. Timing. The timing of starting a family should ideally align with both partners' desires and readiness. Consider factors such as your age, career goals, financial stability, and emotional readiness. It's important to have open and honest discussions with your spouse about your mutual desires for parenthood and your ideal timeline. Keep in mind that there is no one-size-fits-all answer, and what works for one couple may not be suitable for another. Some couples may choose to start a family soon after marriage, while others may prefer to wait until they achieve specific career goals or feel more financially secure. Two, health and well-being. Your health and well-being, as well as any potential medical concerns, should be taken into account when planning to start a family. 
consider consulting with a healthcare professional to assess your reproductive health and discuss any potential health-related challenges that may impact your decision. It's also advisable for both partners to maintain a healthy lifestyle, including proper nutrition and exercise, to optimize your chances of a healthy pregnancy and baby. 3. Support Systems Think about your support systems, including family and friends, and how they can assist you during the transition to parenthood. Consider whether you have access to reliable childcare, whether you have a supportive network to help during challenging times, and whether you and your spouse are emotionally prepared for the responsibilities of parenthood. Building a strong support system can make the journey into parenthood more manageable and fulfilling. Question 19, what are our long-term goals as a couple? Establishing long-term goals as a couple is a crucial step in building a strong and fulfilling partnership. These goals provide a sense of purpose and direction for your life together. Here are some considerations for setting your long-term goals. 1. Financial goals. Financial stability and security are often at the top of couples' long-term goal lists. Discuss your financial aspirations, such as saving for a down payment on a home, creating an emergency fund, or planning for retirement. Outline a clear financial plan that includes budgeting, investing, and debt management strategies to achieve these goals. Being on the same page financially can reduce stress and help you work together toward a more secure future. 2. Family Planning If you plan to expand your family, discuss your family planning goals. This may involve deciding how many children you want, when you want to have them, and how you will share parenting responsibilities. Consider your career aspirations and how they align with your family goals, as well as any potential changes to your living situation or lifestyle. 3. Career and Personal Development Long-term goals should encompass not only your life together but also your individual growth and development. Discuss your career aspirations, educational pursuits, and personal interests. How can you support each other in achieving these goals? Are there any career changes or educational opportunities that you want to explore as a couple? Question 20. How can we balance work, family, and personal goals? Balancing work, family, and personal goals can be challenging, but it's essential for maintaining a fulfilling and harmonious life as a couple. Here are some strategies to help you achieve this balance. 1. Prioritize and set boundaries. Start by identifying your priorities as a couple and as individuals. What matters most to you in your work, family life, and personal pursuits? Once you have a clear sense of your priorities, set boundaries to protect and honor them. This might mean designating specific times for work, family time, and personal activities. Clearly communicate these boundaries to your employer, family members, and yourself. Having boundaries in place helps prevent burnout and ensures that you allocate time and energy to each aspect of your life. 2. Effective time management. Effective time management is key to balancing these various roles and goals. Create a shared calendar or schedule that outlines your commitments and responsibilities, both as a couple and individually. Use tools like to-do lists, time blocking, and digital apps to stay organized. Be realistic about how much time each role or goal requires, and don't overcommit. Prioritize tasks and delegate when possible. Remember that it's okay to say no to additional commitments that may jeopardize your work-life balance. 3. Regular check-ins and adjustments. Regularly check in with each other to assess how well you are maintaining balance in your work, family, and personal lives. Are you feeling overwhelmed in any area? Are there specific goals or aspirations that need more attention? Use these check-ins to make adjustments to your schedule and priorities as needed. Be flexible and willing to adapt to changing circumstances. Additionally, support each other's individual goals and offer assistance when possible. By working together and supporting each other's pursuits, you can achieve a more harmonious balance. Segment 6 self-care and growth taking care of yourselves individually contributes to a healthier marriage question 21 what self-care routines should we prioritize prioritizing self-care routines is essential for maintaining your physical mental and emotional well-being as a couple 
Here are some self-care routines that you should consider making a priority. 1. Individual self-care. Each partner should prioritize individual self-care routines to ensure that you both maintain a healthy sense of self. This can include regular exercise, healthy eating habits, sufficient sleep, and relaxation techniques such as meditation or mindfulness. Allocate time for hobbies and activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Self-care also involves setting boundaries to protect your personal time and energy, allowing you to recharge and reduce stress. 2. Quality time together. Make sure to prioritize quality time together as part of your self-care routine as a couple. Schedule regular date nights, weekend getaways, or simply cozy evenings at home where you can reconnect and nurture your emotional bond. Engage in activities that you both enjoy and that help you relax and have fun together. Effective communication is also a crucial aspect of quality time as it allows you to openly express your thoughts and feelings, fostering a sense of emotional intimacy. 3. Social support. Don't underestimate the importance of social self-care. Maintain connections with friends and family who provide emotional support and enrich your lives. Socializing outside of your partnership can help prevent feelings of isolation and provide fresh perspectives on life and relationships. Consider joining social groups or organizations that align with your interests to expand your social network. Question 22. How can we support each other's personal growth? Supporting each other's personal growth is a crucial aspect of a healthy and thriving marriage. Here are some ways you can foster personal growth in each other. 1. Open communication. Encourage open and honest communication about your individual goals, aspirations, and personal development journeys. Create a safe and non-judgmental space where both partners can freely share their thoughts, dreams, and challenges. Actively listen to each other's ideas and provide constructive feedback and encouragement. When you feel heard and supported by your spouse, it can be a powerful motivator for personal growth. 2. Respect individuality. Respect each other's individuality and the unique paths you're on. Recognize that personal growth may involve pursuing different interests, taking risks, or making changes in various areas of life. Be supportive of each other's choices, even if they diverge from your own. Embrace the idea that personal growth can lead to increased self-awareness and a deeper sense of fulfillment, which ultimately benefits your relationship as well. 3. Collaborative Goal Setting Work together to set and achieve personal and shared goals. Collaborative goal setting allows you to align your aspirations with the overall vision for your life as a couple. Discuss short-term and long-term goals, such as career aspirations, educational pursuits, health and wellness objectives, or hobbies you want to explore. Identify ways in which you can support each other in reaching these goals, whether it's through providing encouragement, sharing responsibilities, or simply being a source of motivation and accountability. Question 23. What role does forgiveness play in our relationship? Forgiveness plays a pivotal role in any relationship, including marriage. It is the key to resolving conflicts, promoting emotional healing, and fostering a healthy and enduring partnership. Firstly, forgiveness is essential for resolving conflicts and disagreements that are inevitable in any marriage. No two individuals are identical, and differences in opinions, values, and behaviors will arise. When conflicts occur, forgiveness allows both partners to let go of resentment, anger, and hurt feelings. It provides a pathway to reconciliation and the opportunity to work through issues together. Without forgiveness, unresolved conflicts can fester and lead to emotional distance and discord in the relationship. Secondly, forgiveness is a powerful tool for emotional healing. In the course of a marriage, mistakes, misunderstandings, and hurtful actions may occur. Forgiveness provides the chance to heal emotional wounds and move forward. It allows both partners to acknowledge imperfections, learn from their mistakes, and grow together. 
By forgiving and seeking forgiveness, you create an environment of acceptance and empathy, which promotes emotional well-being and strengthens your emotional bond. Lastly, forgiveness is essential for maintaining a healthy and enduring marriage. Holding on to grudges and past grievances can erode trust and create a toxic atmosphere of blame and resentment. In contrast, forgiveness promotes a culture of compassion, understanding, and second chances. It reinforces the idea that no one is perfect and everyone makes mistakes. By forgiving each other, you demonstrate your commitment to the marriage and your willingness to overcome challenges together. This fosters a sense of security, trust, and resilience, all of which are vital for the long-term success of your relationship. Question 24. How do we stay connected as individuals within our marriage? Staying connected as individuals within your marriage is crucial for maintaining a strong and healthy partnership. Here are three strategies to help you achieve this balance. 1. Maintain independence. It's essential for both partners to maintain a sense of independence and individuality within the marriage. This means nurturing your own interests, hobbies, and friendships outside of the relationship. Encourage each other to pursue personal passions and goals, whether it's taking up a new hobby, furthering your education, or pursuing career aspirations. By allowing room for personal growth and fulfillment, you'll bring a sense of vibrancy and uniqueness to the relationship. 2. Communication and quality time. Effective communication and quality time together are essential for staying connected as individuals. Regularly check in with each other about your thoughts, feelings, and goals. Actively listen to your partner's experiences and aspirations. Set aside dedicated quality time for shared activities, whether it's going on dates, exploring new adventures, or simply having meaningful conversations. Maintaining open lines of communication and nurturing your emotional connection ensures that you continue to know each other deeply and support each other's personal journeys. 3. Balance and Boundaries Achieving a healthy balance between your individual lives and your life as a couple is key. Establish clear boundaries that respect each other's need for personal space and time. Create routines that allow for individual self-care and relaxation. Discuss how you can support each other's individual goals and interests without neglecting your responsibilities as partners. By finding this balance and setting boundaries that protect your individuality, you'll be able to maintain a sense of self within the marriage. Segment 7. Handling Challenges. Challenges are inevitable, but how we handle them can define our marriage. Question 25. What's our approach to handling financial difficulties? Handling financial difficulties as a couple requires a thoughtful and unified approach. Here are three important steps to consider. 1. Open and honest communication. The first and most crucial step in addressing financial difficulties is open and honest communication. Create a safe space where both partners can openly discuss their financial concerns, fears, and goals. Share your financial situation transparently, including income, expenses, debts, and savings. Listen to each other without judgment and with empathy. Effective communication ensures that you both have a clear understanding of the financial challenges you face and allows you to work together to find solutions. 2. Financial planning and budgeting. Once you have a clear picture of your financial situation, work together to create a comprehensive financial plan. This plan should include a detailed budget that outlines your income and expenses. Identify areas where you can reduce unnecessary spending and allocate resources strategically to address debts and savings goals. Set realistic and achievable financial milestones that you can work towards as a team. Regularly review your financial plan and make adjustments as needed to adapt to changing circumstances. 3. Seek professional help if necessary. If your financial difficulties are particularly challenging, consider seeking professional assistance. 
Financial advisors or credit counselors can provide guidance on managing debt, creating a sustainable budget, and planning for the future. Marriage counselors can also help you navigate the emotional aspects of financial stress and provide strategies for maintaining a healthy relationship during difficult times. Don't hesitate to reach out for support when needed, as seeking professional help can provide valuable insights and resources for overcoming financial challenges. Question 26. How do we deal with external pressures on our marriage? Dealing with external pressures on your marriage can be challenging, but it's essential for maintaining a strong and resilient partnership. Here are some strategies to help you navigate these external pressures. 1. Prioritize your relationship. Make your marriage a top priority. It's easy to get caught up in the demands of external pressures, whether they come from work, family, or other commitments. However, it's crucial to remember that your marriage is the foundation of your life together. Allocate quality time for each other, even when external pressures are high. Regularly schedule date nights, weekend getaways, or simple moments of connection to nurture your bond. By consistently prioritizing your relationship, you can weather external pressures more effectively. 2. Effective communication. Open and effective communication is your best tool for handling external pressures. Discuss these pressures with your partner and share how they are affecting you emotionally, mentally, and physically. Be active listeners for each other, providing a safe and non-judgmental space to express concerns and feelings. Together, brainstorm strategies for managing these external pressures as a team. When you communicate openly and collaborate on solutions, you strengthen your partnership and develop a deeper understanding of each other's needs. 3. Set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries with external pressures to protect your marriage. This may involve saying no to additional commitments when your schedule is already overwhelmed or setting limits on how much time and energy you can invest in certain external obligations. Communicate your boundaries to those involved and stand firm in protecting your marriage. Remember that setting boundaries is not a sign of weakness but rather a sign of your commitment to preserving your relationship's well-being. Question 27. What's our plan for handling major life changes? Handling major life changes as a couple requires careful planning, open communication, and mutual support. Here's a three-step plan to navigate significant transitions successfully. 1. Open and honest communication. The foundation of any successful plan for handling major life changes is open and honest communication. Begin by discussing your feelings, concerns, and expectations related to the impending change. Actively listen to your partner's thoughts and emotions as well. Create a safe and non-judgmental space where both of you can share your fears, hopes, and uncertainties. This dialogue will help you understand each other's perspectives and fears, allowing you to move forward as a united team. 2. Assess the situation and make a plan. After open communication, assess the situation together. What are the practical aspects of the major life change, such as financial implications, logistical details, and potential challenges? Identify your shared goals and values, and use them as a foundation for making a plan. Develop a timeline and allocate responsibilities based on each partner's strengths and interests. Be flexible and willing to adjust your plan as circumstances evolve. 3. Lean on each other for support. Major life changes can be emotionally and physically demanding. Lean on each other for support throughout the process. Be empathetic and understanding of each other's emotions and stressors. Share the workload and responsibilities to ensure that neither partner feels overwhelmed. Seek external support from friends, family, or professionals if necessary. Remember that you are a team, and together, you can navigate major life changes with resilience and a sense of unity. Question 28. How can we ensure we grow stronger through adversity? 
Growing stronger through adversity as a couple is not only possible but can lead to a more resilient and fulfilling relationship. Here are three key strategies to ensure that you navigate challenges together and emerge stronger. 1. Maintain open and supportive communication. Effective communication is paramount during difficult times. Encourage open and honest conversations about your feelings, concerns, and fears. Actively listen to each other and provide emotional support. Share your thoughts on how you can work together to overcome the adversity. Remember that you are a team facing challenges, and approaching them as a united front strengthens your bond. Avoid blame and criticism, focusing instead on problem solving and mutual understanding. By maintaining a supportive and communicative atmosphere, you can turn adversity into an opportunity for deeper connection. 2. Embrace resilience and adaptability. Cultivate resilience as a couple by acknowledging that adversity is a natural part of life. Instead of viewing challenges as insurmountable obstacles, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Adaptability is key in navigating adversity, so be willing to adjust your plans and expectations when necessary. Work together to brainstorm solutions, set realistic goals, and break down challenges into manageable steps. As you face adversity, remind each other of past successes and how you've overcome difficulties together. Celebrate small victories and milestones along the way to maintain a sense of progress and accomplishment. 3. Prioritize self-care and mutual support. Adversity can be emotionally and physically draining, so prioritize self-care and mutual support. Encourage each other to engage in self-care practices that promote physical and emotional well-being, such as exercise, meditation, or spending time with loved ones. Lean on each other for emotional support, offering reassurance and understanding when needed. Recognize when external assistance, such as counseling or professional guidance, may be beneficial, and be open to seeking help together. By prioritizing self-care and mutual support, you can navigate adversity with strength and resilience, emerging from challenges as a stronger and more connected couple. Segment 8. Fun and Adventure. Lastly, don't forget to have fun and go on adventures together. Question 29. What are some fun activities we can do together? Engaging in fun activities together is a fantastic way to strengthen your bond as a couple and create lasting memories. Here are some enjoyable activities you can consider. Outdoor adventures. Explore the great outdoors together by going for hikes, bike rides, or picnics in nearby parks or nature reserves. You can also try camping, kayaking, or stargazing on clear nights. Outdoor activities not only promote physical health but also provide opportunities for shared adventures and quality time. Cooking or baking together. Experimenting in the kitchen can be a delightful way to bond. Choose a new recipe to try or take a cooking or baking class together. Preparing a meal as a team can be a fun and rewarding experience, and you get to enjoy the delicious results together. Art and creativity. Discover your artistic sides by taking up a creative hobby together. This might include painting, pottery, or even dance lessons. Artistic endeavors can be both enjoyable and therapeutic, allowing you to express yourselves and learn new skills while having fun. Travel and exploring. Plan weekend getaways or vacations to new places you both want to explore. Traveling together offers opportunities to experience different cultures, cuisines, and adventures. Whether it's a road trip to a nearby town or an international adventure, travel can create lasting memories and strengthen your connection. Board games and puzzles. Enjoy some friendly competition by playing board games or working on jigsaw puzzles together. Choose games that both of you find interesting and challenging. These activities are not only entertaining but also foster communication and teamwork. Volunteering. 
give back to your community by volunteering together for a cause you both care about. Volunteering can be a meaningful way to bond while making a positive impact on the lives of others. Movie nights and book clubs. Share your love for movies and books by having regular movie nights or starting a book club for two. Choose a mix of genres to keep things interesting and take turns selecting the movies or books to explore together. Question 30. How do we keep the excitement alive in our relationship? Keeping the excitement alive in your relationship is essential for maintaining a fulfilling and lasting partnership. Here are three strategies to help you do just that. One, surprise and spontaneity. Inject an element of surprise and spontaneity into your relationship. Plan unexpected romantic gestures, such as surprise date nights, handwritten love notes, or spontaneous weekend getaways. The element of surprise can reignite the spark and create anticipation in your relationship. Additionally, Try new activities and adventures together to break from routine and keep things exciting. 2. Open communication about desires. Maintain open and honest communication about your desires and fantasies. Share your thoughts and fantasies with your partner and encourage them to do the same. Be receptive and non-judgmental when discussing your desires and boundaries. This level of intimacy can lead to a deeper connection and a more exciting and satisfying physical relationship. 3. Invest in emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy plays a significant role in keeping the excitement alive. Prioritize quality time together outside of the bedroom to deepen your emotional connection. Engage in meaningful conversations, share your thoughts and feelings, and actively listen to each other. When you feel emotionally connected, it often translates into a more passionate and fulfilling physical relationship. Don't underestimate the power of affectionate gestures and physical touch throughout the day, as these can help maintain a sense of closeness and anticipation.